Hello, Game Boys and Game Girls. I'm the Game Boy Guru, and welcome to another Pickups and Arrivals video. And uh, it's a little bit, I would say, late or delayed because it's been since uh, the beginning of May, I think, since I put something out. And so what I'm covering here is the rest of my pickups and arrivals in the mail through the month of May. Um, I haven't been hunting as much as usual because A, I've been busy with work and other things, so I haven't had time, and B, um, life sometimes has expenses and things that come up, and so uh, I just haven't been able to uh, have it in the budget to do a whole lot of game hunting, but I managed to do some, so let's take a look at what I got. So the first two <clears throat> items that I picked up uh, after my last video were a pair of NES shoot 'em ups to scratch off the list that I grabbed uh, at the new Game Cycle store that's here in town. And so that is Thunderbirds, which is based on an old British television show. But oddly enough, this uh, game was not released in Europe for some reason. And finally scored a copy of Gunsmoke by Capcom. Uh, conversion of the arcade game and of course this is as you can see the earlier pressing because it has the round seal rather than the later oval seal uh, but it is three screw <clears throat> um, I have ordered a couple of things online <clears throat> uh, one of those being or a couple of those being from limited run games and so I bought a game called Carol Blaster, which looks to be a uh, sort of 8-bit style run and gun game. Uh, I ordered the version that came with the soundtrack. And then of course, the limited run collectible card that comes with that. Always fun to have items like that. And <clears throat> the other item that I got which I was very excited to get is Super Hydora, which is a shoot 'em up. Um, comes in a box that looks very much like a Super Nintendo game box, um, but is in fact just a special box to hold this. It is by Abbey Light Studios and uh, um, Local Molito. So I actually haven't broken the plastic on this, so I'll go ahead and do a little bit of a unboxing for you all here in this video just so you can see uh, it did also come with the awesome uh, card love that with the artwork there um, it's kind of a fun uh, deal that they do with their little trading cards and so in here is <clears throat> the actual Super Hydora game on Blu-ray, uh, which is a really nice Gradius uh, kind of clone with some uh, Darius sort of elements um, because there are branching paths and things like that. Good game. Uh, I played the PC original. Of course, the soundtrack with music by Grizor88, uh, so looking forward to spinning that. And it also came with this poster. Large fold-out poster. Which I will show off for all of you here. This awesome Super Hydora poster. Yeah, so very cool that it came with all of that. Um, I uh, This might be my favorite <clears throat> of the limited run shoot 'em ups that I've bought so far. A, because I've played the game already on PC and I know what I'm getting into. I know it's a good game and I know it's one I already like. Uh, and B, because I really like this package with the Super NES style box. Um, because the game is still kind of reminiscent of something like Radius 3 or what have you. Um, so, very cool to have that. Uh, let's see. I went back to the game cycle store uh, I had a bunch of duplicates that I decided to get out of the out of the spare closet in here 
and uh, I decided to go trade them in. And so I got some trade credit, picked up a few things while I was there. So first I got uh, Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. This is the Nintendo Select version, as you can see. But it was super cheap, so I decided to pick it up because uh, I didn't have a version of Twilight Princess yet, and I figured I wouldn't find it again this uh, inexpensively. And I also got the Xbox version of the Capcom Classics Collection, uh, Volume 1. This has a bunch of games, uh, 1942, uh, I believe 1943 as well, uh, Section Z, Legendary Wings, Street Fighter 2, Ghost, uh, Ghosts and Goblins, uh, Ghouls and Ghosts, Gunsmoke, Final Fight, Commando, Mercs, bunch of great stuff on here. This is a great collection, uh, real similar to the Volume 1 of the PSP collection that I have. Um, Volume 2 is a bit harder to find and a bit more expensive, but I'm hoping to track that down at some point. But glad to have this because this has got some great games on it. I also grabbed some NES games while I was there. Um, so first up is Desert Commander. And this is one that I actually played as a kid. A friend of mine had this, and this game was actually my first introduction to uh, sort of tactical strategy games. And so uh, I didn't quite understand it at that time, and I didn't quite understand the um, his you know love or obsession for the game. But looking back on it now. Uh, I have fond memories of those times because it was, you know, just him and me hanging out and doing our thing. And so I look forward to uh, putting a little bit of time into this and, and uh, picking back up. Also got Adventures of Lolo 3. I've had the first Adventures of Lolo game for quite some time now. But 2 and 3 have eluded me in the wild. I finally found this in uh, real good condition, so I decided to go ahead and pick that up. Also got <clears throat> G.I. Joe, The Atlantis Factor. Um, I really like the first G.I. Joe game by uh, Taxan, and I've played this. I, I didn't think it was as good as the first game, but I'm going to give it another chance because I've been wanting to add it to my collection. So G.I. Joe, The Atlantis Factor from Capcom. And finally, Palamedes from Hot B, um, an interesting uh, NES puzzle game and one of those uh, that's a little less common. It's not super expensive, but it's a bit less common in the wild. And it's one I haven't seen for quite some time, so I decided to pick it up because I have heard good things about it. <clears throat> I also uh, bought a couple of things from two members of our generation and so <clears throat> first up a uh, package that came from red mcknight thank you very much red for these items so first up i got a, a sega saturn uh pad um this is an aftermarket pad and it is i can't remember which company manufactured this. I actually have one like this uh, already, but this one is special because it is branded with Blockbuster because it was actually available to purchase at Blockbuster and it came with the box. He had this and it's in actually really good shape. Um, so this will go probably up on the shelf behind me or on one of the other shelves here in the room to display and um, it's, a, it's kind of a neat item because, as you can see, it's Blockbuster branded on front and back. And uh, it's just a neat, uh, a neat controller. 1997 Requiton Corp. Um, yeah. So, anyway, <clears throat> this controller actually looks like it's in pretty good shape. Looks like it's been uh, reasonably well taken care of. So, other than being... You know, just a bit dirty as these things get when they um, sit around and collect dust in someone's game room or attic or what have you. Um, but anyway, um, pretty cool to uh, pretty cool to have that. 
The other thing that Red hooked me up with, which I was very happy to finally get, is the Action Replay 4-in-1 Plus cartridge. However, I already have one of these for my Sega Saturn, but this is not a standard 4-in-1 Plus. This is one that has been flashed with the uh, Pseudo Saturn Kai firmware. So, <clears throat> the for those unaware, the Action Replay 4-in-1 um, Plus, or the, this is the 4 Meg Plus, I guess, uh, or four in one, yeah. The the action replay uh, four in one plus cartridge allows you to do. Uh, the reason it's a four in one is because it acts as a one megabyte um, memory card and a four megabyte memory card. It also has the action replay cheat uh, engine built into it, and it effectively makes your Saturn region free so that you can play games from other regions. So that's how I was able to start collecting a small library of Japanese Sega Saturn games. What the pseudo set what the pseudo Saturn Kai cart does is it breaks the other functionalities in favor of the region free portion, but it acts like a mod chip would. And so this will allow me to actually play backups. So I can make backups of CDR backups of all my Saturn games and use them in the Saturn instead of the actual discs so I can preserve those, especially since uh, Saturn games are a bit more known for disc rot and things like that. Plus, again, since I'm able to play Burns, uh, I can actually play some of the more expensive Japanese games that I may never be able to afford, like um, Blast Wind or Radiant Silver Gun or things of that nature. So looking very forward to trying this out and giving that a whirl. Finally having the pseudo Saturn Kai cartridge. And finally, <clears throat> I did a trade with <clears throat> RF Generation member Shane and he hooked me up with some Nintendo DS stuff. So I got <clears throat> Super Mario 64 DS Cool to have that. Got Castlevania Dawn of Sorrow complete. <clears throat> Castlevania Order of Ecclesia and Castlevania Portrait of Ruin. But not only do I have the Portrait of Ruin game, but he also hooked me up with the pre order bonus material, which is this fun little. Um, box that you can open that has the Velcro on it there. But inside, <clears throat> there's some additional content. So there is a Portrait of Ruin, a uh, little fold out card here. So it's got some, whoops, got, got some artwork on that from the game or, you know, concept art uh, of the characters and <clears throat> information on the back about all the different characters in the game. So that's pretty cool. have to read through that. A little bit of a timeline. Uh, yeah, Castlevania timeline. So talking about the different Belmonts. Leon, Trevor, Hector, Simon, Justy Belmont, Richter, Alucard, and uh, different characters from other Castlevania games. That is one item. <clears throat> it also comes with this uh, Castlevania 20th Anniversary Deluxe Art Collection, little art book. And so um, it has a forward by Koji Igarashi, which is awesome. And then <clears throat> artwork from all the different games in the series, you know, Super Castlevania, Bloodlines, it's got the US box art and some Japanese art uh, as well. Uh, of course, Castlevania Dracula X, Symphony of the Night, um, lots of cool stuff in here. So, really neat little item Castlevania Chronicles, 
So this is pretty cool to have uh, this additional artwork and uh, you know, like there's Curse of Darkness. Pretty cool. And finally, with that, <clears throat> also comes this little fold out here. This is a, it's got a 20th anniversary premium music collection CD. It's on a little digi hub here. Uh, and so there's the disc. And on that, <clears throat> there's music from multiple games. Uh, five tracks from the original game. Uh, one from Simon's Quest, two from Castlevania 3, two from Castlevania 4, uh, one from Castlevania Adventure, two from Bloodlines, three from Rondo of Blood, four from Symphony of the Night, um, a couple of which I really love, so, uh, tracks from Lament of Innocence, Curse of Darkness, Circle of the Moon, Harmony of Dissonance, Aria of Sorrow, Dawn of Sorrow, Portrait of Ruin, and then a couple of bonus tracks, um, including a, ver a different version of Bloody Tears. And then it also has this cool uh, Castlevania stylus, specific for the DS, and this uh, interesting little case here, which I believe... Let's see here, if I can figure this thing out. I want to say this is uh, just a DS game case that's branded with the Castlevania. Hmm. I think it would swing open. Oh, there we go. Yeah, so it's a special DS game holder. That'll hold two Castlevania games, which makes sense because at the time of its release, um, there were there was Portrait of Ruin and Dawn of Sorrow on the DS. So one assumes that this would be to hold those two games. So pretty cool, um, pretty cool little bonus items with the the pre-order stuff that came with uh, Portrait of Ruin. <clears throat> so. Definitely looking forward to giving that a spin, the sound, the music CD. A big fan of the Castlevania music over the years. Um, pretty much every Castlevania game that I've played has had uh, some excellent music. Um, I'll probably leave the, the uh, DS game case and the special stylus in here and leave those nice, but I will definitely be taking the disc out and ripping that to the computer so I can put that music on my phone at some point and um, and uh, <clears throat> enjoy those tracks in the car. So that's all I have for you today. Um, like I said, I haven't been able to do as much in the way of pickups in recent weeks. And uh, I'm probably not going to have too much for you in June uh, again because um, I've got some expenses and things right now that just make it so that I can't do much uh, much shopping and much, much hunting. Um, I'll probably do a little bit, you know, when I have a, a free weekend or what have you. But <clears throat> in the meantime, um, I may start doing a, a vlog series that I talked about. Um, a few weeks ago or a couple months ago, whatever it was, when I did an update video. Uh, I'd like to do um, just a bit of a vlog where I talk about different gaming topics and things like that. Uh, while I'm cleaning Game Boy carts, NES carts, and other things, uh, just as a way to kind of have, you know, start some additional conversation dialogue with uh, everybody. And you guys can, you know, throw me topics and, you know, maybe we'll talk, maybe I'll talk about them on... Uh, on a future episode. So anyway, that's all that uh, I have for you. Like I said, um, make sure you follow me on Twitter at Game Boy Guru. I'll have a link in the description below to my blog where you can read my Game Boy game reviews um, that I used to base my dramatic readings videos on. That is GameboyGuru.blogspot.com. 
Also in the description will be a link to Nira and his channel. He provided the Super Mario, uh, Super Mario Land overworld music that I use as the intro to all my videos. And he has a bunch of other great chiptune and game music on there as well. So make sure you go check that out. If you like this video, uh, please consider giving it a thumbs up. And also consider subscribing to the channel so that I can uh, give you more content like this. As always, thanks for watching, thanks for playing, and game on.